Hello and welcome to Ticker Tapes. It's Wednesday, which means it's time for a look at the crypto space. Bitcoin prices dropped below $20,000 once more this week following two consecutive sessions in which Bitcoin lost almost 10% of its value. Bitcoin traded to the downside in three of the last five sessions, and over the last month, it's lower by 32.3%. Opinions vary about what comes next in Bitcoin, but a survey from Bloomberg that canvassed the opinions of 950 investors found that 60% of them believe that Bitcoin's valuation could fall to $10,000. Interestingly, retail traders were more cautious than their institutional counterparts, with 25% of retail traders surveyed now describing cryptocurrencies as rubbish. Crypto exchange BitMEX has delayed its plans for a stock exchange listing until market conditions improve, the company's management announced in a statement released on Tuesday. Most crypto marketplaces are not quoted companies. The exceptions are Coinbase Global and Backed. However, the stock price of each of these has fallen by more than 70% over the year to date. Just last week, online broker eToro announced that it was abandoning its plans to list in New York via a SPAC or or blank check company, a deal that was once valued at $10.3 billion. In common with several other crypto trading firms, eToro trimmed its headcount, laying off 100 employees. eToro is now said to be looking at a venture capital funding round between $800 to $1 billion at a much reduced valuation of just $5 billion, $2 billion less than the current market cap of its great rival, Robinhood. Meanwhile, the Binance Exchange, which is headed up by Chinese-Canadian billionaire Cheng Peng Zhao, may have continued to conduct business for Iranian crypto traders despite economic sanctions against the country, which the U.S. imposed in 2018. Binance is registered in the Cayman Islands and as such is not subject to laws preventing U.S. businesses from trading with Iran. However, Binance also operates a U.S.-based subsidiary, Binance.us, which could open the company up to legal action by U.S. authorities. According to reports from Cointelegraph, Iranian traders claim that lax KYC rules and checks at Binance allowed them to open and trade accounts from Iran using only an email address to register. They were subsequently able to use a VPN to mask their location and IP addresses. Reuters has also been digging into Binance this week and found that the firm has operated outside side of the rules that many of its peers are forced to follow. Reporting that CEO Cheng Peng Zhao ignored advice from his compliance team about the lack of background checks at the firm. Such checks are usually in place to avoid facilitating money laundering through an exchange or brokerage. This is the second time in just over a month that Reuters has highlighted compliance and governance failings at the exchange, which it previously described as a hub for hackers and fraudsters. Binance, which denies Reuters allegations, has recently beefed up its compliance procedures and has recruited regulators Seth Levy and Stephen McWhorter from FINRA and the UK's FCA, respectively.